guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be doing some, I don't know if you want to call it DIYs, but I'm going to be painting these terracotta pots. I have three different sizes and then I'm going to also attempt to paint this one. This one is not a terracotta pot, but I don't know. I just want to see if I can paint this and then to see if the paint will stay on it. I'm not an artist, but... I also like some color in my life, that's why I don't love these basic colors or just a white or gray color, you know. So grab some acrylic paint, this I got from Michaels, they got some good deals if you get a set. And then if you want more colors than just these, of course, I think it's $1.75. It just depends what store you go to and what deals they have. So check those out and then I have these that I've collected. In the past so i have that i got these 25 brushes from uh five below a, a while ago so just whatever you have you know i like these because there's a lot of different sizes so if i want to do little items and stuff like that that's gonna be nice grab some loose paper if you don't want to get your area painted on since we are just starting out we are just gonna focus on this three real quick to paint these white and then we're gonna let those sit and dry of course i'm going to use this color right here and it is vanilla it's not white it's vanilla but this will work because we just need kind of a, a covering like that but it doesn't have to be white unless you're trying to get white then of course get white you know what i mean so with this first pot i'm gonna put my paint right here just because i don't mind but if you have like a very fancy thingy palette or whatever to put your paint on then awesome but and yes, I'm going to do small amounts. A little warning about this face right here. It's a little broken and as you can see, very, mm, I don't know, greenish. But we'll just we'll work with what we can, okay? There's nothing I can do about that. Just let nature do its thing and it adds a little touch, I guess. And I'm not Picasso, so do the best you can if you are then this is perfect for you and you see it's covering the green so it's fine and you might have to do several coats of this so this process may be time consuming depending on how much or when you start you know if you start at the beginning of the day seven eight o'clock in the morning you might be done i don't know just depends on how long it'll take to dry and how many coats you do you know depending on how particular you are you may want to even paint a little bit of the inside now honestly i really don't care because when people are looking at my pod, they're looking at this. They're not looking at that. And if they are, then oh well. I guess you could paint the top of it, like right here, real quick, just with the rest of whatever's left over. I'm gonna let this dry and sit it on the butt side like this. Okay, we are done with our first pot. Now we are gonna paint the, what is this called? The base of it, I don't know. These aren't the best brushes. If you can see, there's some of the brushes falling off on the thing. So if you can get better brushes, then I suggest doing that. I'm honestly just trying different methods of what's the best way to move them once they're once I'm done with the coat. So I'm gonna try this one upside down and see what happens. This might be a better method and quicker. Okay, done with that one. First paint I got on me. Then I'm going to do this last one. Now we're going to let these dry. And from here, I'm not going to show you how many other coats of white paint I do. It's really all up to you because if you're fine with that, you know, if you want a white pot, you know, do more coatings. If you want to decorate it, whatever, whatever. 
me personally i'm gonna add some touch to it i add some drawings to it so what i like to do is i like to go to pinterest and search up terracotta diy and literally just you know just get some ideas you don't have to copy them just get some ideas of what you may want to do because i always like to look at ideas because you know it's always nice to see oh you know that's something i like that's something i want to recreate for example if you didn't want to even paint you could have literally just kept it that color and done that, this, and this would have been gorgeous. You could do some checkered without painting it, just doing painting the checkered. See, and you know, just get ideas. For this first pop, we're going to make it fun. Something like this. And it never has to be perfect, just as long as you like it. I know it looks like shit right now, it's okay. Just trust the process, and if it, does, if it turns like shit, then at least we tried. That's... Our motto here. <laughs> the beauty about paint is that if you fuck up, you can always paint over that. Right, guys it is the next day and I'm continuing to paint this outer portion that's not covered with hearts blue I did want to give some updates of some things that I have learned while I've been doing this when you're starting out and you're painting your terracotta pot I suggest that you go online and figure out what color you want to do the pot if it's not white then don't paint all the pots white that's one thing that I've realized like uh, I'm painting that one another color and I could have easily just painted it the other color to begin with instead of doing a white Cover on all of them. I believe that's my understanding correct me if I'm wrong then to start off with Whatever main coat you're laying on use this side. I didn't know what this was when I started so I've always used brushes so I felt more comfortable with the brush than this but apparently most people that I've seen do terracotta pots they start out with this and it kind of gives them a smoother easier texture which i don't really care because from afar this pot right here looks great and then as far as paint you guys have to remember this is paint so if for whatever reason you don't have a color how about you try to mix a color to make another color i found myself without brown the other day and I could have easily combined two colors to make brown. Now, I didn't end up doing that. I did end up buying the paint because I did need different types of brown. But I'm just saying, think creative. Use what you have if you don't want to break the bank. Now, those three paint colors were $3. But still, you know, if you want to save money, work with what you have. Last but not least, I've bought this Posca water-based colors. This is just to paint certain patterns patterns on my on the pot which you'll see i will say i don't know I, I haven't tried this but just eight colors this was twenty dollars eight colors 16 colors i believe was forty dollars what the hell is any of this that's crazy so just let you know other things that you can use on your pots while you decorate it but you don't have to get this i was just showing y'all what i got you can simply start drawing what you need to draw and what i what i did was i printed this heart out drew this myself cut it out put it here and then i cut the eyes and only drew this portion of the eyes and i kind of just improvised with the rest of the eyes and then i'm going to draw the lashes on myself later on so that's the best way to do it that's the best way i found other people have been doing it one other tip that i would like to add is don't forget to shake your bottles before you pour it out because it might be watery so shake it out shake it out now i'm gonna work on my ice cream 
cone. Really, if I would have decided that I wanted to make this one an ice cream, I should have just left it the same color of the pot. That way I wouldn't have to paint anything, but <laughs> genius here. I think I'm gonna paint about right there. I'm gonna let this dry, then do a second coat. So here I messed up. I was supposed to just color this area right here and not make the lines yet and then do the X's for the ice cream cone. So I'm going to try to do that now. I might mess up the pot, but I have to do it because that's not a real ice cream. Yeah, I don't know how pretty this pot is going to be. I, I wouldn't have your hopes up. What are those lines? <laughs> And yes, I know how to do a line. <laughs> Is it that bad? <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. It'll be a cute little, like, oh, something's so adorable. <laughs> adorable is insane. Oh, wow, that's so nice. That's sharp. Yeah, the ice cream terracotta pot was kind of a fail because I messed up the lines. But honestly, like I said, from far away, listen, it's all good. I don't really don't care. It was a lot of effort on my part, so I just left it like that. How to use the Posca pen, uh, yeah, the Posca pens. It's actually very easy. So you want to get a newspaper like I had and just kind of act like you're stabbing the newspaper with the Posca pen. But be careful because otherwise the ink will run if you're too harsh with it. And that's how you get the Posca color to come out. Just keep stabbing the paper, if that makes sense. And it'll come out. If you really don't understand what I'm saying, look up a video. My friend knew how to use one, and that's how I was able to know how to use one because she helped me with it. But let me know what you guys think. Was it a total fail, or did it have potential? I know it wasn't the best, but hey, I tried. And now on to the hearts pot. This was the hardest pot, actually, believe it or not. This was the hardest pot, the most time-consuming pot. I think you can't believe it. You can tell. It was a lot of effort, but honestly, the most gorgeous one. Halfway through, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it, but hey. Listen, we're all Picassos here. Now I'm officially done with all three of my terracotta pots. Now we are here, finally at the last step. What we're gonna do now is seal this. So if you guys want to bottom feed with these pots, you can. Or if you know, you keep them outside, the paint doesn't go away. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, you can use different things, but I'm gonna use this. So I found this at Target, and I think you can find it at Home Depot. We'll shake the can first, and I'm gonna do it upside down. This is my first time doing this, by the way. This kind of glosses it up. Then 
this is what you end up with after it's sealed. I did seal it twice. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But I was also going to put some plants in here. But honestly, I don't want to repot something and then it dies or something. Because I, I don't know, I'm just scared. I hope this video was very informative. And if you plan on doing this, let me know what you're going to make. And, you know, send me some pictures on Instagram. This wasn't the easiest project for me, but it got done. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.